It has become a must-have gadget for almost every working person. For some, it's become their mobile office. But unknown to many, the laptop has become a silent spam terminator. In a study published in the American Journal, researchers harvested healthy semen from 29 men aged between 26 and 45. Each donor's semen was then divided into two samples. One sample was exposed to a Wi-Fi internet connected to laptop for four hours, while the other sample semen was used as a control. This study examined sperm motility, viability and DNA fragmentation. Four hours later, a quarter of the samples exposed to the laptop were no longer swimming around. All electromagnetic waves, depending on the intensity, any body cells can get affected. So any, the test is, tends to be more sensitive because the cells are producing very, very fast. And when you have cells that are producing very fast, then they are affected by any electromagnetic waves. More worrying was that the laptop sample decreased the speed with which they swam and were more DNA damaged, factors that could hurt the chances of reproduction. The laptop is more to do actually with the heat because when you put your laptop on your, on your, on your, right on your lap, then actually it gets quite hot. And actually what happens is just the, 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 um, the temperature of the test is tend to go up on itself. For fertilization to occur, a man will have to produce an average of 20 million sperms in an ejaculation. According to Dr. Wanyoike Gishuhi, a fertility expert, the numbers of couples seeking fertility help has been on the rise in the recent past. Possibly because more men are exposed not only to laptops but to phones. Studies which have been done from 1950s, that is the last century, have shown the sperm count for men has progressively gone down, gone down. The World Health Organization estimates that in every five couples, at least one has an infertility problem. According to Dr. Gishuhi, other contributing factors to the growing numbers of infertile men include obesity, mirage chewing, frequent cycling of bicycles, driving for long distance, such as truck drivers, those living with diabetes and hypertension. Cigarette smoking affect the sperm count because what happens when you smoke cigarette it affects, it affects the blood vessels. It's for this reason that Dr. Gishuhi advises that men should now start thinking about having children earlier in life because infertility today is no longer just tied to birth defects. Your latest gadget could be spoiling your chances of fulfilling the good old command be fruitful, multiply and fill the earth. Violet Otindo K24 Evening edition.